Michael DeBacker here with the Mortgage Mike Group, and uh, I come to you today to talk about a new strategy called a seller buy down. We are accustomed as, well, you guys as realtors, whenever you are looking to negotiate a, a contract for your buyers and you go to the listing agent, you say, hey, there's room here for say $10,000 off the price. That is how we negotiate. We simply reduce the price, which is a win. It helps lower the overall out-of-pocket for our client up front, but also on a monthly basis. Let's use an example of say 450,000 as a list price. Bring it down to 440, that's gonna lower the monthly payment roughly about 60, $65 a month. That's a win. However, we're not optimizing our opportunity here to A, just look like a, uh, a badass in front of your buyer, uh, but B, get your buyer the most bang for their buck, and C, give yourselves the highest percentage chance of winning a contract. And so to explain that further, what I wanna talk about is a different mindset, a different way of uh, negotiations. Instead of doing 10K off the price, get 10K in seller concessions so we can buy down the interest rate for our buyer. Now, 10K is just a round number. Naturally, we need to talk about any scenarios that we're looking at doing this with, but the overall principle is this. With that 10K, being able to purchase uh, a lower interest rate, this could reduce our payment. In the same scenario of a $450,000 purchase price, it would take the rate down roughly 1%, and that would reduce the payment an additional 170 beyond the 67 that we were already going to reduce it by just lowering the price 10K. So we're looking at a $200 plus a month savings by using 10K to buy down the rate versus taking it off the price. That is massive. Now, conversely, if you wanted to get the same payment on the 10K concession scenario, but do it by only lowering the purchase price in the same scenario. So let's say we use the same rate as scenario one at a list price of 450,000. You would actually have to lower the price to 402 to $403,000 to equal the same payment. That's a reduction of $47,000 by the seller versus using 10K in concessions. Which one is the seller going to accept? A reduction by 47,000 or a reduction by 10K to their net bottom line? So if you guys have any questions about this, this is a true winning scenario for both parties. And it's not just on the buyer side. Think about it from the listing agent side as well, where you're trying to make your client the most amount of money. Somebody comes in and wants to negotiate 40 or $50,000 off the price. Show them what $10,000 in seller's concessions can do to help everyone win. If you guys, again, have any questions about this, please reach out. And until next time.